Well, good morning. Guaranteed to make somebody mad today, I'm sure, but that's okay. Because uh, I just want to talk about this Hubbard uh, transgender epic failure that took place. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a second here. Uh, we'll give, we'll see if anybody gets on here right away. It's early in the morning here. Well, it's not too early here. It's nine o'clock, but it's maybe early or late wherever you're at around the world. And, um, you know, anyway, so we'll see what happens. We'll see who gets on here and who doesn't. We'll give it a few minutes, but I had to come on and say something about this. So, I will, and we'll see if we can get anybody on. When I'm at my broadcast here this week, I was censored so bad, so absolutely bad, that it was like, I it was unreal. It was just unreal. You could tell that, and people are like writing me and saying, you know, we never get your notifications. We never get anything about what you're doing, uh, all that good stuff. And, you know, um, so that seems to be the norm. But anyway, I enjoy doing these truck talks and haven't done one in a while. So thought I'd do one here this morning uh, before I get to the Cairo here. I don't have a lot of time, but I uh, got enough time. Uh, so hope you're all doing well out there uh, this morning. Mondays are always interesting for pastors uh, after being after preaching the Bible a couple times on Sunday, after being going through a ton of stuff, and then a ton of spiritual things, and then and then uh, you know getting the week on and getting moving for the next week, so it's interesting. But anyway, uh, God's good to us, and He takes care of us. Um, so uh, we'll see what happens here with this, and and. Uh, how that works. But anyway, how many people come on? But I, I doubt there'll be a, a ton because yeah, Aaron says he, they keep turning off notifications in his settings and he has to constantly turn them back on. So we know, and by the way, my subscribers have stayed 14,600 for like three years. So that should tell you that what's going on but that's okay whatever and then if i say something bad the snowflakes turn me in and then uh or it's my my stalker that turns me in there's some so raging sodomite out there that's stalking me and sends me weird and sick pictures and then tries to threaten me and scare me and says he's gonna beat me up and he's going to um Well, he threatened to rape me and all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, that's just the truth. I mean, that's that's the spirit of the... So He's representing his community very well. He's representing the LGBTQ community very well. That's their spirit. See, now, I know this because I've preached out of sodomite events before outside of them. And that's exactly how they treat people. That is literally how they treat people. I, they told my 70-year-old father that they wanted to rape him over a trash can. So, I'm just telling you, like, that's, that's who these people are. Don't ever forget it. Don't ever forget it. That's exactly who they are. So, um, anyway, but, so... Yeah, I know. I'm blunt and I say things sometimes it's got, I, I, I know it's harsh, but let me tell you something, friend. I, I just want, I, I kind of, without being too vulgar, I want to give you the truth like that so you understand like exactly what we're facing. So you get, and I don't mean me and just our church, I mean we as born again Bible believers that love the Lord. This is what you're facing. So, I mean, like I said, the man threaten me, sends all kinds of things to me, tells me I don't know what he can do to me, blah, 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 all this other stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, 
I, and I'm supposed to be afraid, which I'm not. So he sends me a picture of my address, my old address, by the way. Sends me a picture of my old address. And I'm just saying this openly because I just want him to know that I'm not even afraid. Like, I'm not even... Like, look at me. This is me being afraid of you. Okay, this is like, I, I'm, not, I'm not even like close to being afraid of that. Anyway, so, but, uh, but, I mean, when he sent me that, I just said, well, I'll make it easy. He goes, I'm trying to find your address. I go, well, I'll make it easy for you. Our church meets at 1030 Highway 3 South, Northfield, Minnesota. 55057, right on the map, right across from Super America. Look me right there in my eyeballs. No problem. None, none whatsoever. None. There, I made your job easy. Right? I made it easy. When you take that fear, when you take that, that, uh, tool of fear, right? When you take that, that, that fuel of fear away, then guess what happens? Guess what happens? They don't have any power. I'll make it easy for you. There, now it's easy. Now you get it. Okay. Anyway, so that's just for that that's just for him, just so he understands. Since he stalks all my videos, he just understands that. Like you didn't see me blink, right? Like you didn't see me flinch, right? You didn't, you didn't see that, right? Okay. So you know. What I think is funny is that people like that think I was always like some preacher, or they mistake us for some guy in a monastery that sits there and hums all day. Like that's the first dude that ever threatened me. Like really? I had best friends stab me in the back, okay? In the ministry. And turn out to be straight up stinking witches. So, whatever. That, that little thing that you do is just like, it's kind of like an annoying fly. Okay. But it goes along with this sodomite spirit. Here. Because here you have this transgender epic, absolutely epic failure. Dude couldn't, couldn't even qualify in a chick's category. I want you to think about that for a second. So you, you're such a demented, devil-possessed person that you're a guy turned yourself into something. I can't think of what that character's name was that Jim Carrey played when he played that transgender weightlifting thing. But anyway, um, so, but, But anyway, so that's what they do. They go to this category. They go in and try to be a woman and compete against woman, women, and you lost. Now, first of all, it's not even good science. And these people know that. All right? It's simple biology. It's so ridiculous. It's just so ridiculous. You know what? I get a kick out of it, how they they talk about God being a fairy tale, right? And, and the Bible being fairy tales. No, I'll tell you what's a fairy tale. Is looking straight down at something's anatomy that God gave them when they were born. And trying to make them out to be something else. Trying to change the reproductive system that God gave them. I mean, don't, they ought to realize that this is a psychosis problem. I mean, it's devils that we know it's deeper than that. It's devils. But it's like, 
it's like uh, it's like the the transgenders doing the fake breast thing. Like they get a fake breast and they strap on a fake breast and they they pretend to nurse a baby with a fake breast. Devils. That's devil possession. And doctors that, that give them that reality, all it, it's like the Epicureans and the Stoics. It's it's literally, literally, literally. It's literally. The same philosophies. Well, you know, just follow your heart. Follow your pleasures. Follow whatever you want. And then you just make yourself happy that way. Just follow whatever you want. Just follow. Follow your pleasures and, and, and you know, that, that'll be good. Well, yeah, but you don't have the anatomy of a girl. Well, that doesn't matter. You weren't made to be a woman. You were created a man. You, I mean, you came into this world as a man. You have male reproductive organs. You have the biology of a man. Oh, that doesn't matter. I can be anything I want to be. So, so I guess if you believe you're an orange, I had a guy once that was on acid that thought he was an orange. He really did. He thought he was an orange. I mean, I, I was mean and I told him he was an orange. But I but I was lost. So. <laughs> I, told him he was, I, told, I told I told him he was an orange. I did. <laughs> I, I told him he was an orange. That's terrible. I should never have done that. <laughs> but I, I wasn't saved though. So anyway. But I did tell him that. That wasn't very nice. That guy was messed up, man. He was messed up bad. But it reminds me of that. Like, how do you... This is what it reminds me of. Right? So you're an orange? Well, if I say I am, I am. I'm an orange. So that, so you have this failure of this of this Hubbard right who looks like somebody that like that has deep psychotic problems and all these federations and these these countries and these they accept their problems instead of helping them it's almost like helping a racist right um a rapist it's like helping a rapist right so you just tell them hey you're you know well i'm a rapist well okay well we'll just help you with that we'll just he says he's a rapist that's what he says he is right so we'll just do that we'll just help we'll just help him be a rapist that's what these governing bodies of the Olympics are doing. That, that's what all these people are doing. That's what scientists are doing. People that claim to believe in science, that's what they're doing. When they don't. But that goes to show you that they're just a bunch of lying hypocrites is all they are. It's just like this, this sodomite that's stalking me. Same thing. He tells me how much of a bigot I am when he's the one that wants to kill me. He's the one that wants to kill me. Right? He's the one that wants to wants to murder and kill and have hate in his heart and destroy me. Right? Wasn't that the opposite of love? Isn't that hate? It's exactly what it is.
It's hate. Oh, I don't think they'll help a transgender get mental help because they think they're fine. Just like I told that sodomite man that's that's stalking me the same thing. I said, you know what? You hate your own skin. Or you I didn't say your skin, I said you hate your own self. And when you're by yourself, you hate yourself. Cause anybody that has that much hate in their heart, they hate themselves. They're they're not they have no joy. They have no happiness at all. Anybody that wants to kill somebody like that, they're full of hate. Full of it. Full of devils. So anyway. But, um, pray for that man. We had a prayer meeting yesterday. We prayed for that man's soul. It's exactly what we did. We prayed for his soul to be saved because he's in trouble with God. And they need the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's the answer. For that Hubbard, that transgender, he'd be happy in his own skin if he was saved by the grace of God. If he was, if he was born again by the Spirit of God, if he repented and put his faith and trust in Jesus Christ, he would be a happy man. Right? He would be a happy man, but they're not happy because, and they, they can't be settled in the skin that God gave them. Whatever outside happened to them, you know, those things, it's sad. <clears throat> Excuse me, whatever those things were. But the truth is that they can't be happy. They can't be happy because they don't have Christ. And Christ is the one that puts true joy in the soul can forgive your sins, can cleanse you of your unrighteousness and make you whole. That's the answer. We see this man who tried to become a woman and can't even do that right. Can't even do that right. Can't even win at that. Well, I would take a look at my life if that's the way that I was. I would sincerely take a look at that. And I would sincerely turn to Christ before it was too late. That's the answer. Christ is the answer. Always has been, always will be. No matter what ails you, Christ is the answer. Anyway, all right, well, just some thoughts there about that. And thank God he didn't win. I don't like the Olympics anyway, but thank God he didn't win. I'm glad he didn't. Right? Thank God. I'm glad he didn't win. But anyway, well, tomorrow I'll be doing a broadcast at, on, on the book of Mark again, out of the book of Mark. And uh, can't remember exactly. I've got a few topics I'm looking at. So we'll be looking at those tomorrow back in. Let me see here. Let me look at my. Let me take a look at my notes here and see. Oh, I know. We're going to talk about the deity of Christ and his humanity, the hypostatic union. We're going to talk about how they stumbled at the stumbling stone and how men still stumble at the stumbling stone. We're going to talk about the deity of Christ. Amen. I took my beard down because I felt like I looked like a scrubby old man. I didn't like it, so I just shaved it down. You wait, Carl, till yours turns all white.
So we'll be talking about that. Uh, we'll be talking about that tomorrow. Uh, the deity of Christ versus his humanity and how they stumbled at it. 10 years is a lot, man. And when you're in the ministry, 10 years is a whole lot. Trust me. Um, anyway, well, God bless y'all. Hey, if you want to uh, pray for us, please do that. We could use the prayers, definitely. Contending for the truth, ask, do I have teachings against oneness? Yes, I do. Just look them up online. Should have a few of them out there. Um, and then, let's see, if you want to support our ministry, you can. Uh, you can PayPal us at salvationpreacher at gmail.com or you can PayPal us at at um, Pastor Cooley at iCloud.com. Either one of those you can do. Uh, we appreciate that. Some people do Apple Pay. Some people mail in something if, they, if they'd like. The address is on our sermonaudio.com slash Pastor Cooley page. You can find information there. Look for more truck talks. Uh, look for more broadcasts coming. I will transfer some of the some of the uh, teachings that are over there tomorrow. I will transfer some of them that are Sunday morning's messages over to YouTube. So we'll get that there uh, and uh, get that taken care of uh, also. So those are on there. Check sermonaudio.com slash Pastor Cooley for more uh, new sermons, the newest sermons. If you want to listen to our sermons live, you are able to listen to our sermons live. I do the Wednesday sermon, the Sunday morning sermon, and the Sunday afternoon Baptist history lesson. Those are all live on sermonaudio.com slash Pastor Cooley. So if you want to listen to those, you can watch those live um, on Sermon Audio. Okay? So they are broadcasted. Uh, I don't know what happened to the second sermon yesterday. I'm not sure. Went off after three minutes. I am not sure. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure. Hi, Cindy. Hope you're doing well. How's Troy doing and the kids? Hope they're doing fine. Uh, good, to, good to see you on here. And uh, Cindy's been listening, been a friend for a long time, long time. So anyway, praise the Lord for her and Troy. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened, Carl. I'll find out from Andrew what happened, why it didn't go back on. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I will have... Maybe I'll have my messenger on that computer so Andrew can go to that old past thread that's on uh, Facebook Messenger. And maybe he can go to that Facebook Messenger uh, and uh, they can do that. So, so he can keep in touch with you in case something happens. I'll add Andrew to that or I'll have him look at that and he can, you, he, you can let him know if something happens there. So anyway, well, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. You'll hear from me soon, Lord willing, tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to the broadcast tomorrow. And I've already got one, I think, that I'm going to do about the power of God for Friday, maybe, or maybe Thursday. Who knows? I just got a lot going on this week. If I add in uh, preaching on Saturday, which I probably will, uh, I've got to do some pretty good studying into Baptist history. So I got my work cut out for me this week, but that's okay. So I'm only doing two broadcasts right now, still adjusting to the new schedule, still adjusting to um, the, the new house and my responsibilities there and getting my family settled and all that fun stuff. So we are just rejoicing though what God gave us. So I'm, I'm doing the best I can right now to get everything out there and to do everything and to kind of find a good schedule. So you'll, you'll uh, have some patience. We'll get back to it. And I may just go to two, two broadcasts a week uh, for a while, till the winter probably. And when the winter, when some of the outside things slow down a little bit, I might be able to go back to three. We'll see how it goes. How do you like the new house? Love it. It's, um, it's a blessing for sure. So the Lord really bless us with the house and the land 
and everything like that. We are truly blessed by it all. We thank God for it. So anyway, God bless you all. Take care.